Yes. Yeah, morning all. So myself, I'm Vijay. Like I hold 20 plus years of experience, which includes nearly 10 plus years of experience in Python environment. My experience includes design, development, and implementation of Python and Django-based applications. Well-versed in implementing different Python libraries like NumPy, CP, Pondos, PyTables, Matplotlib. So before I start, can anyone please confirm whether my voice is clear, whether the screen is visible or not? Yes, yes. it is. So as part of today's demo, I'll be covering the following topics. So if you've got any general queries, I'll be giving time for you at the end of this session, right? Yes. So here, why Python? Why Python? Already we have many other programming languages. Why again Python? And the two Python is not a kind of technology which is not very recently introduced. It was introduced in the year 1989. More than 30 years ago it was introduced. But why all of a sudden Python has got a great boom? Reasons which makes it super popular. Who, who can learn Python? Who can learn Python? What are the prerequisites for learning Python? There are no prerequisites for learning Python. Anyone can update with Python. Anyone can update with Python. How Python was built? How Python was built means built by taking the features from different other programming languages. Python was built by taking the features from different other programming languages. It has taken some features or some advantages from one programming some advantages, some features from other programming in this way, from multiple programming languages, it has taken the features, right? Python real-time applications. Python real-time applications. What kind of applications are we developing today by using Python? Whenever you are updating with any technology, you need to know what kind of applications are developed with that. And who are using Python? Top most applications built using Python, the companies using Python. Python features as compared with other programming, coding wise, length wise, complex device, right? Checking how the Python statements, right? And reasons why Python is suddenly super popular. And that what is the job market of the Python currently? And what is the scope of Python in the coming years also, right? Yes. So this is what I'll be discussing in today's and tomorrow's session, right? Yes. Starting with why Python. I define Python in five lines. Python is a general purpose programming. It's a general purpose programming, right? What do you mean by general purpose? Means before Python, there were some programming languages. Like if you heard that uh, programming language like Fortran, Cobol, Pascal, Fortran, Cobol. These programming languages are purpose-based languages, purpose-based. They are used for a specific purpose, not for all the purposes, right? Pascal for, compli for complicated mathematical applications, Fortran for scientific applications, Cobol for business applications. They are used for a particular purpose, not for all the purposes. But a language which is suitable for developing any kind of application, a language which is suitable for developing any kind of application, such a language we call it as general purpose programming. Such a programming language we call it as general purpose programming. So Python is such a kind of programming, any kind of applications we can develop today. Like it is not for a particular purpose, it is general purpose programming. Any kind of applications like uh, automation applications, web applications, animation applications, gaming applications, embedded applications, networking applications, desktop applications, in this way, wide varieties of applications we can develop today by using Python. So it's a general purpose programming. Multi-programming features. Python has got multi-programming features. 
what are the features we see in different other programming? All the features we see here in Python. Python is a high level language. Python is a high level language. Okay. There are two types of language. See, multi programming. Multi programming means it has got features of different other programming. I said it has taken some features from some programming, some other features from other programming. In this way, multiple programming features it has got because of which we call this as a hybrid language. Okay. And a high level language. There are two types of languages I can say, right? Two types of languages. Two types of languages, low level languages and high level languages. Low level languages, secondly, high level languages. Low level languages, right? Example like assembly level language or machine level language. Assembly level or machine level language. These languages, sir, they are not human understandable. They are not human understandable. Not human understandable. They are not portable. Not human understandable. They are not portable. Machine. Not human understandable, they are not portable and machine dependent. They cannot be carried from one system. Portable means they cannot be carried from one system to another system. Machine dependent means they cannot run on all the hardware and all the operating system. They are not human understandable, but high level languages like Python. Python is a high level language. First thing, see so human understandable. Human understandable, second leg. They are portable. Human understandable, secondly, they are portable. Machine independent. human understandable they are portable and are machine independent can run on all the hardware and all the operating system independent portable means they can be carried from system to system human understandable look like normal english statements python statements look like normal english statements so python is a high level language an interpreted language. It's an interpreted language. Interpreted means line by line executions. So here also we see two types of languages here. Categories, right? Compilation languages and interpretation languages. Compilation. This is interpretation. Compilation example like C language. Interpretation example, interpretation, right? Python, Python is an interpretation language. In the case of compilation, if you've got some lines of code,
all this ten okay all these lines at a time executes at once executes at once and displays errors if displays if any errors but in the case of python statement by statement execution statement by statement execution user friendly programming or programmer friendly programming which provides simple syntaxes looks like normal english statements python statements not even one fourth the coding as compared with any other programming languages very less coding the two simple syntaxes looks like normal english statements interpreted line by line execution high level language can run on all the hardware multi-programming features and general purpose means any kind of applications can be developed. Python has got what programming features? Python has got what programming features? <clears throat> I'm sorry, right. Python has got uh, Python has got uh, Procedural oriented programming. Procedural oriented programming features. Python has got procedural oriented programming features. Example C language. Object oriented programming features. object oriented programming features object oriented programming features like example c plus plus java it has got the features of scripting python also has got scripting features example like shell script linux shell script has also got the features of modular programming. <coughs> <coughs> modular programming features, example like model or three. It has got procedural oriented programming features. It has got object oriented programming, scripting features, modular programming features because of this multi programming features because of this multi programming features we call python as a hybrid language just like c just like c plus plus just like java just like model or three we can develop different varieties of applications so i once again i repeat for learning python there is no prerequisites it doesn't mean that you need to have the knowledge about all this programming. No. As part of our course, we will be discussing procedural oriented with Python, object oriented with Python, scripting and modular programming with Python. Everything from the scratch ground level to the advanced level. Right? If you talk about two major programming languages today used for enterprise applications creations, Python and Java. But if you talk about this Java, Java developers or Java programmers they are strictly restricted to use only object oriented programming features. Without object oriented programming, there is no Java application or Java program. But Python, with object oriented, without object oriented, with the procedural oriented, with the scripting and with modular programming, we can develop different varieties of applications. And also, Python is used for scripting python is one of the best scripting language with vast varieties of libraries and modular programming today python has got a great boom because of this modular programming nearly eighty-nine thousand three hundred inbuilt modules inbuilt modules python is providing right for different environments or domains 
So whatever environment you are from Python has got a module for if you are from networking or testing or database or data science or big data, any environment, right? Python has got a module for it using which we can perform the operations. No need to write huge codings directly in built functions pre present within that module in use and we can perform that operations. Okay. Modules, because of this modules only, Python has got a great boom. So just uh, for each and for every environment, for example, for data science, uh, Python is providing modules such as separate modules Python is providing. Separate model set for data science, nearly 10 to 15 modules it is providing, like NumPy, CP, Pandas, Matplotlib, right? In this way, nearly 10 to 15 models, even for this big data environment, even for big data environment, right? That's got a model like even like packages like uh, PySpark. Even for testing or uh, test cases. Separate modules Python is providing even for networking. Networking not only separate modules, a separate framework itself, Python is providing for this networking environment. For OS for operating system kind of activities for OS for operating system kinds of activities, right? Python is providing separate model. The name of the model itself is OS. And for each and every database, for each and every database for our Oracle separate model, Python is providing like CX underscore Oracle. And even for this uh, MySQL, MySQL, right? Separate model like PyMySQL provided by python just by using this module we can easily connect with any databases python can easily connect with the database it is not as complex as other programming connecting with the databases really complex right we need to have the knowledge of drivers but here just connecting details and this model is enough and even for sql server sql server by odbc by odbc is the module even for any types of files like Excel files. For Excel files, right? Uh, just by writing Python code only, we can create an Excel workbook. And uh, within that Excel file, within the Excel, right? Just uh, we can create sheets. By writing Python code only, we can just generate sheets, sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, right? So within the Excel. <clears throat> So for every file format, for every file format, Python is providing separate modules. Within, within the modules, we have got inbuilt functions. Using that functions, we'll go into perform the operations. Not only Excel files, CSV files, comma separate values files, JSON files, JavaScript object notation files for XML files. PDF files. For mathematical operations, math module. For statistical operations. And even for generating graphs, any types of graphs, normal graphs, bar graphs, histogram, scatter plot, stack plot, for any types of graphs, right? Python has got a module like matplotlib for generating graphs in Python, just by writing code, generating graphs. So in this way, thousands of modules, 89,300 modules, Python is providing for different environments, not only for computer applications, even for electronic civil environment, Python has got modules. 
So before you go, right, before you go in it, before updating with the technology, you need to know what kind of applications are we developing today by using Python. Python real-time applications. What kind of applications are we developing today by using Python means mostly used in creation of web applications. A lot of web applications are developed by using Python. You may ask uh, from the last 20, 25 years, like uh, Java.net, all these, they are mostly used in developing web applications. Why again Python required? Why again Python required means Python, if you see at a rapid speed, it can develop web applications has got its own database, right? SQLite 3. Let's stop, sir. <clears throat> so Python, it has got a framework called Django framework. Using this framework, right? At a rapid speed, you can develop web applications using, it has got its own database like SQLite 3. It has got its own database. It has got its own application server, right? Yes. <clears throat> Mostly used in creation of web applications and uh, in automation applications. Using techno in automation applications using technologies like uh, data science, using technologies like IoT. Using technologies like the DevOps. Right? IoT, Internet of Things. It's a physical network or device embedded with software, sensors, electronics for exchanging data, for controlling, for exchanging the data and controlling the things from the place where you are, right? So in a simple way, electronic devices connecting and communicating with each other. So here, 90% of the coding in Python, even in data science, deals with everything, deals with the data. <clears throat> data has got experience. Data has got future reference. Using data or data science, we perform like data analysis, data predictions, data classifications, data clustering, data recommendations. It's a blend of technique. The main technique, what we see here, ML machine learning. So we have got many ML techniques, regression, classification, clustering, recommendations, right? For all the techniques to implement, we require a language. For implementing, you require a language. So Python is the mostly chosen or mostly used. Python, right, is the mostly chosen or mostly used programming for this machine learning. Even for DevOps, uh, writing automation scripts, Python is one of the best scripting language with vast varieties of libraries. But apart from this, uh, another major area where Python is mostly used, uh, big data environment, right? Big data. Currently, if you see the data, you should have seen KBs of data, MBs of data, GBs, but beyond that, like terabytes, petabytes, exabytes, Zeta bytes, zeta bytes, zeta bytes, right? Fine. So today, like the data has reached petabytes. Petabytes of data is getting generated today. Lot of applications generating data in petabytes. If I take one petabyte, just if you take one minute transaction, what is the data generated by Facebook in a minute? Facebook has got users throughout the world, millions and trillions of users for Facebook. What is the data generated by it in a minute, in an hour, in a day? Huge data, right? Apart from that, we talk uh, YouTube videos upload. What should be the storage capacity to store all the videos? And Gmail messages, millions and trillions of people using these Gmail messages. Each and every message has to be stored. What should be the storage capacity of it? And even for Twitter tweets, 
and uh, e-commerce transactions like Flipkart or Amazon. Everywhere we see like huge data. So for this huge data storage and processing, right, we have got some big data technologies available like uh, Hadoop, Spark, especially Spark, very high speed processing technology, huge data it is going to process in very less time. It is implemented using a language called Python. And the Spark with Python, we say like PySpark. Spark with Python implementation. Apart from this, even Python used in scientific applications. Scientific applications, we have got a separate model for it like CP. Scientific Python and even it is used for numerical analysis. Numerical analysis like NumPy. scientific applications, numerical analysis, for graphical user interface, GUI, graphical user interface are for animations, right? Graphical user interface are for animations. We have got a model called TK Inter. And apart from that, even for game game or game development, for game development, right? Yes. <clears throat> Lot of games are getting developed today by using Python single user, multi user online games. Single user, multi user online games, right? Like that. So for developing games separately, Python is providing frameworks like Pygame. It's a framework given by Python for developing games. One more framework it has given like PyCora. And for 3D games, 3D rendering libraries using this PySoil. <laughs> Apart from this, even Python is used for scheduling tasks. Scheduling, right? It has got airflow for it. And even for the testing or for test cases. Even for software development. Software developers make use of Python as a support language. For business application, Python is one of the best choice for developing e-commerce sites. One of the hottest application of Python like the database applications. Without database, there is no web application, right? Python can connect with any database. even for networking, networking applications. Especially for networking and network applications. For networking and for network applications, right? Networking of for network applications separately, yes. Twisted Python. Python is providing a framework called Twisted Python. And apart from that, for audio and video applications, audio and video applications as part of course, I'll be discussing yeah, as part of the full stack course, right? I'll be discussing some audio and video related applications also, right? It is also used for embed applications. Embedded applications, the most famous embedded application, Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi, right, which uses Python for its computation, which uses Python for its computation, embedded applications. And apart from this, audio video applications, embedded applications. For web scrapping. Web scrapping, right? Scrapping data from different websites. You have got like a URL lib module, BS4 module, beautiful soup. 
apart from this for CAD or 3D CAD applications. And for computer vision, for face detection, color detection, for orbit detection, for data analysis. robotics and for desktop applications creations single user console applications right so in this way we have got many applications of python these are the mostly used one like in this uh, automation applications in big data applications in data science applications web applications gaming in all these right yes Who are using Python today? Who are using Python today? And top most applications, top most applications built using Python, built using Python. Google, Google is one of the best example. Google first. Google web crawling is first written in Java. It was too difficult. It was written in Python. And Yahoo using Python. YouTube using Python for its video sharing service. Uber, Uber pricing algorithm implemented using Python. Instagram built using Python. Instagram built using <clears throat> and some other applications like uh, the prime reason for Instagram to choose Python, Python practicality and its hybrid features, even NASA using Python for its research and development activities and uh, some other applications like Quora, Reddit, Pinterest. Dropbox. Implemented using Python. Apart from this, Dropbox, Pinterest, Reddit, Quora. <clears throat> Netflix, the popular OTT platform. Netflix using Python for its security, automation, and subscription related things. M M O G massively multiplayer online games. Maya, a powerful 3D animation which uses Python script. And uh, BitTorrent using Python. iRobot for military and commercial operations. And companies like IBM, Seagate, Qualcomm, all these, they use Python for hardware testing purpose. So these are some of those uh, which are built using Python over using, up using Python, right? And reasons which makes Python super popular, right? Reasons which makes uh, Reasons which makes Python suddenly super popular. Which makes Python suddenly super popular means first one is uh, most of the programmers are attracted towards Python or migrating towards Python because of its very less coding. Not even one fourth coding as compared with other programming languages. And secondly, simple syntaxes given by Python. Simple syntaxes given by Python, right? Looks like normal English statements. 
and interactive mode given by Python. Interactive mode. We can easily interact with Python statement by statement. But every statement it uses response. Check it. At the bottom search panel, I got this. I'll type CMD. Go to the command prompt. Just type Python here. You'll get this Python version and the Python interpreter gets open. <clears throat> Python interpreter gets open. Now, any valid Python statements you can type in check here. I'm asking 5 plus 4. What is it? X is 10. Y is 5. What is X? What is Y? What is X plus Y? X minus Y. X into Y. X by Y. Any valid statements? X into 2. 10. X to the power of 2. 10 squared. This is double this power symbol in Python. 10 squared. 100. X equal to hello x into 3 prints for 3 times x into 5 prints for 5 times you want to come out of this say quit in this way we can easily interact statement by statement no programming language is providing this interactive mode so python has got interactive mode you can statement as a beginner as a as a beginner right you can work with this interactive mode it uses response for each and every step. Apart from this multi programming features, that's what a multi programming What are all the features we see in different other programming? I said, right, all the features available with Python and Wide varieties of applications, just now I discussed, right? Of different types of applications, wide varieties of applications we can develop today by using Python. Many built in libraries. Many built-in libraries. Eighty-nine thousand, eighty-nine thousand three hundred models test got right. So these are the reasons which makes it super popular. Very less coding, simple syntaxes, interactive mode, multi-programming features, wide varieties of application, many built-in libraries. Eighty-nine thousand three hundred inbuilt modules Python has got. For different environments, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, check this. I'll show you. I'll just open Google and show you, right? The most popular coding language. The number one ranked programming language today, right? Most popular. Always popular coding, popular coding language. Popular coding language, right? Okay. Python remains the most popular programming language, right? Python remains the most popular programming. most popular programming languages. Python remains most popular. Most popular programming languages used by top 25 unicorns. Python, next comes Java, JavaScript, other things. 
most popular programming language of 2022 python java javascript python remains the most popular right next comes java python is mostly used next java javascript Emerging programming language by popularity. Emerging programming language by popularity. First Python, next Java. Ranking, you can see that ranking wise, Python is the number one ranked. Java is the rank two, three, JavaScript four, this one. So rankings, you can see ranking wise, rank Python number one ranked. Next comes Java and the programmers. Number of number of top thirty nine U.S. computer science departments that use the language to teach introductory courses: Python first, next Java and MATLAB. <clears throat> you can see a big drop here. Python 31% used in the industry, Java 19%, C++ 9%, Ruby 7%, JavaScript 6.5%, correct? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Even if you see rankings based on rankings, see this ranking by average salary. Python stands first next to JavaScript. Even ranking by volume of job openings, Python has got Python and SQL has got a lot of job openings too. Check it once, Python jobs. Just click Python jobs and check in Google. Python developer jobs, right? 1,58,657 Python openings. Not only for the Python jobs, even people who have got knowledge on this framework of Python. Like Django framework, you can also go for Django jobs. Django jobs, right? Yes. Let's scroll down. 23,463 Django job vacancies. People who know this Django is very less. Who has got comment on this Django is very, very less. Right? So as part of the course, we'll be discussing in brief with many examples. So as part of the course, what I'm going to discuss. Course content. See Python basics, why Python is free, applications of Python, features, advantages, versions, installation, flavors, comparison between these programming languages, Python operations, Python modes of execution, interactive mode, batch mode, headers and IDs, data types, constants, variables, comments, input output function. Right, type conversions, comments in Python, escape sequences, strings, operators in Python, right? Arithmetic operators, comparison operators, logical operators, assignment operators, right? Shorthand operators, bitwise, Python IDs. In real time, we use IDs, right? Different types of IDs. Python, Jupyter, Spider, Eclipse. VS Code, all these IDs, right? Most of the IDs I'll be discussing, right? Not on a single ID. Flow control statements, looping statements, strings in Python, string indexing, string slicing, string functions, string methods, string special characters. Collections in Python, collection data types, list, list indexing, list of properties, list functions, list methods, list addresses, right?
tuples, sets, dictionary. All these collections, functions in Python, examples, categories, default, non-default, keyword, non-keyword, arbitrary variable length arguments, types of functions, lambda function, reduce function, map function, filter function, right? Models in Python, modeler programming, different ways of importing, renaming, reloading, package in Python, errors and exceptions, file handling in Python, object oriented programming concepts in Reef. Regular expressions in Python, regular expressions, database access, database connectivity, Python data and time, OS model, operating system, advanced concepts like iterators, generators, closers, decorators, web scrapping, working with CSV, XML, JSON files, graphic programming, and Excel workbook, creating Excel workbook, and introduction to data analytics, introduction to data science, Honda's model, NumPy model in brief, and Matplotlib in brief, right? generating different types of forms. This regarding the study topics regarding Python 4 and advanced. Okay. Django framework. And people who wants to go for full stack, Django introduction, web frameworks, install, Django installation, Django project architecture, Django application creation, Django views, Django templates, Django admin, Django models, Django advanced concepts, Django ORM, Faker model, all this. With 15 to 20 applications you'll be developing, right? And you'll be given knowledge on UI technologies, HTML, CSS, JavaScript and MySQL. Okay. Observe this ones. Python. Python Core and Python Advanced. See, both they take nearly 70 hours will be spending, not like 45 hours, 70 hours in brief. Two months duration, around two months duration. Apart from this, people who wants to go for full stack, You will be given knowledge on UI technologies, web development, like uh, technologies like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Apart from the Django framework, the Django design and Django framework within this 15 to 20 applications. You will be developing. Apart from this, one more framework like Flask framework and the REST API. MySQL, database, and a project. For this uh, topic number two to seven. This also takes 70 hours. So this Python code at once, 70 hours, two months, uh, 6,000 is the course fee. And for this two to seven, 70 hours, two months.
सेवन के इस थी कोर्स पे सो so, बहुत पाइथन प्लस फ्रेमवर्क पाइथन सेवेंटी आवर्स फ्रेमवर्क आल्सो लाइक सेवेंटी आवर्स टोटली वन फोर्टी आवर्स टू मंथ्स टू मंथ्स टोटली फुल स्टैक लाइक फोर मंथ्स सिक्स थाउजेंड इज द कोर्स वे फॉर दिस सेवन थाउजेंड फॉर दिस थर्टीन थाउजेंड but if you are doing if you are taking the entire package the single payment rate right, 12000 full stack rate right, it's 12000 so this is <clears throat> the timings back right? yes timings initially it will be at uh, first one week it will be at 7 am later it will start at 6 am in the morning and observe here right one more what are the things we offerings live session videos each and every session videos you will be getting right soft copy of the class notes assignments and tasks to work next whatsapp group interview questions yes so you'll be getting the session video soft copy of this class notes assignments and tasks whatsapp and interview questions what right? fine any queries you have got tomorrow also everyone can attend the session same time at 7 o'clock using the same link to see more on this not uh, will be continuation of today's class so people who are from non programming or zero programming right tomorrow you can attend i'll just show you some sample snippets of python how simple they look All right any other queries got anyone hi this is ravi hello yeah yeah go ahead Is it like a generative AI? And all it will be covered by the generative AI. Oh no, AI is not covered in this. Okay. So it's totally like Python core advanced. So procedural oriented, object oriented, scripting, and modular programming with Python. So totally for all those the prerequisites is Python. But if you want to go for data science or big data or frameworks. Or any other uh, like robotics for all these the prerequisite is Python. For data science, ML for all these things, prerequisite is Python. Okay, uh, I want to ask one more question. So, see, you know, you're saying Django and HTML and uh, JSP right uh, or JavaScript. So, what is the difference between the Django and uh, JavaScript and HTML because it, Django is also a framework and HTML and also will, will be web from. Is it like uh, we'll code it separately with Python, Python with Django and Python with HTML and CSS? See, HTML, CSS, just they are used to develop a web page with different colors and font. Sorry, your voice is not audible. Hello. Once again, now it's audible. Yeah, yeah, good. So here HTML CSS just how good you present the data on the web page. Okay. With colors with different colors, fonts, tables, right? How good you present the data on the web page for that purpose only. 
and uh, even javascript for some kind of dynamism django right see here mvt architecture we follow one second check this right hmm. one second this is your web page so this web page you have designed how using html css and javascript this is your database database this is web page there is a form registration form is there you have designed using html okay this everything but html is static there won't be any dynamism right using html css yes yeah. but if you're entering the registration name your details your age uh, detail address details all the details you have entered whenever you click the submit button all your details has to be stored in the database how here middle python this django django will be there right so here python is going to take the whenever you click submit the details everything which is going to take so here uh, this is m this is v this is t mvt in java we follow mvc architecture here mvt architecture interaction between these three this python and django right here templates we say templates we create by using this web page templates will create by using html css these are databases these three interactions right python takes the data and just uh, stores it in the database tomorrow if you want to retrieve the data from the database and on the web page it has to be displayed the data i want all the customers whose uh, balance is above one lakh so again python we are going to write some business logic implementation the python code so again it is going to bring the data from the database and place it on the web page in the middle this Python and Django framework, right? So basically, Python will interact with database and it will generate the logic. What Django here it does? So Django is the framework, right? Okay. Django is a Python framework. Not only Django, Flask framework, Pyramid Flask. framework, the Bottle framework, TurboGate, all this framework. This is Django is a framework given by Python, especially for developing web applications. It is a, a Django is a framework given by Python, especially for developing web applications. I said, right, at a rapid speed, you can develop because uh, Django providing many flexible features. 40% of the code uh, it is generating, right? Remaining everything, we are going to write it. The many flexible features it is providing. It has got its database, like its own database, like SQLite 3. Okay. Uh, everything it is going to take care of framework so especially used for web applications creations so uh, creating uh, web applications in a simpler with very less coding and with less time so this is what django for what purpose for developing web applications Any other queries right anyone? So I'll be discussing uh, two frameworks here. Django is the most flask framework. We'll be given knowledge on this UI technologies. Okay, fine. So tomorrow at same time, seven o'clock using the same link, more discussion on this. So tomorrow I'll be just showing you the sample, some codes of Python. You can just check it, how simple they look. Even some graphs I'll show you tomorrow. How simple generating graphs without any knowledge of Python, you can you can understand that graph, right? Generating graphs in Python. So if there are no other queries, I will sign off for now. Meet you tomorrow, same time. Thank you all for your time. Thank you. Meet you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.